Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll create a very cute floral illustration with the big central flower and little cute branches and flowers underneath. So this flower drawing could be part of the postcard design, just an illustration for uh, an Instagram post or a very very cute wallpaper for your iPad or your phone. So we will use two, in this tutorial we'll use two brushes, the monoline brush, which is the Procreate original brush and it comes with the Procreate and also artist script, which is uh, the brush that made by Karine from iPad Lettering and this is the, the brush um, from an all-star brush pack, you can, which you can download for free on Procreate's website, I will leave the link in the description below. So I hope you will enjoy this step-by-step -step tutorial, so now let's get started. First we'll have to go and grab a new canvas, so tap this little plus sign. Now in this tutorial we use it, we'll use a square canvas, you can create your own with your own dimensions if you would like, but I will use the Procreate template, which is this square template right here underneath the rectangular. So if you want to use this one, just tap on it and it will take you to in the new canvas. So before we start, I would suggest turning on the streamline to make your line smoother for monoline brush. To go to do that, go to the brush library, tap on the monoline brush, and it will take you to the brush studio. Now go to stabilization, and if you note, you know you'll notice that my streamline is already to the max, and my stabilization is around 30%. These settings will help you to create smooth lines in Procreate and avoid those shaky and wobbly lines. Um, so I, it's obviously an optional step, but um, I would strongly suggest doing it to make your line work a little cleaner and a little prettier. So if you want to do that, do that. If not, that's, that's totally fine. So as I said, we'll start our illustration by creating a big main flower in the middle of our canvas. And first we have to do create a center, center part for the flower. So to do that, we'll go to the new canvas. Um, we will name it um, Big Flower Center. Big Flower Center. Um, I try to name every layer that I use to make sure I'm not confused later on because sometimes like you, you end up with the illustration with many, many layers and you get so confused. So that's my habit, that's my rule <laughs> that I try to follow. So I name every single um, every single layer that I have. So now we'll have to go to the colors and choose the color. Uh, by the way, try to, if you want to use my color palette, I also leave the link in the description below so you can download it. Um, if you want to use your, your own colors, that's totally fine. Um, that might be even, you know, a little more fun. But if you want to use my colors, download the palette. And for the center, center for the big flower, we will use this first color in the first row. So just tap on it and we will use the monoline brush and we'll create the circle, little circle in the middle of the canvas. So we'll go and create a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect like you, like you see, mine is not. I'll just probably make it a little smaller and try to place it somewhere in the middle. It does, again, doesn't have to be perfect. We can move it later on. So just no worries about that. Now we'll create a new layer because we will create the petals for the flower. So we'll create a new layer and drag it underneath the big flower center and we'll call it big flower petals Ta -da. and now we'll go to the uh, color palette and we'll choose this third color in the first row uh, now let's go and create some petals again they don't have to be perfect oops they don't have to be perfect, uh, it's just the illustration. Now we'll turn off this one and make sure they're all connected and color fill it. Turn this back on. I'll just probably go back and just m make some of the petals a little more, uh, a little more, a little more round and a little, a little bigger just so they all look kind of the same. <laughs> Yeah, something. Oops. Something like this will work. I'll probably also move this little to the middle. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, again, doesn't have to be, you know, the perfect perfect flower. 
Now let's move it a little, I'll probably make it also a little smaller and I'll move it somewhere in the middle right here. Okay, we're done with the first flower. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> now we'll create uh, the next step in our illustration, we'll create three big leaves underneath this flower. Okay, so now we created this uh, pretty flower and now we'll just add some details. So we'll go to the uh, layers, we'll create a new layer on top of the big flower center and we will call it big flower details. We'll go to the colors and we'll grab the second color on the first row. And what we'll do, we'll just create some dots, some bigger, some smaller in the middle of the center of this flower. And we'll add some uh, fun details to the flower. I'll also go back and make some super little things, super little dots. Since this is the centerpiece, it, ha it has to have some details. So we'll, it has to grab the attention, so we'll just bring this little dots. So now when we created this uh, center flower, we will add some um, de uh, we'll add some other leaves underneath this flower. So in order to do that, we'll go to layers, we will create a new layer and we'll go underneath the big flower petals and we will call it big leaves. Cool. Now we'll go to the colors and grab this uh, second color on the first row. Now we'll create three leaves underneath this flower. So we'll create the first one here. Uh, maybe it's a little too big. I'll go a little smaller. Now we'll create the second flower here. And the first flower here. And the uh, third flower here. Uh, leaf. Sorry. <laughs> leaf of course leaf not the flower so now turn this off and connect these three leaves to make sure that we can color them let's color this now let's turn them uh, let's turn them on again and that's our three leaves now we'll add some details to the leaves so we'll go and create a new layer on top of the big leaves and we'll call it big leaves details so now we'll go ahead and grab the archer script brush which is a very beautiful brush i just very like it like it so much we'll grab this um a second color on the second row and we'll go to the to our um leaves and we'll create the middle part something like this doesn't have to be perfect um some organic organic thing leaves don't uh, if you use this brush don't add too much pressure because then it will be too um, the lines will be a little too fat for the pretty leaf like this so uh, maybe maybe one more here so that's all for the leaves we're done with this three leaves and um, they look beautiful. I like them. Uh, now we will go. Cool. Now we'll create a, uh, a pink flower right here. So we'll go and create a new layer. We're already underneath the big flower petals, so that's good. So we'll name it. Uh, first, we'll create a stem. So we will name it uh, pink flower. Oops, pink flower. Oops, stem. Beautiful. So we'll grab this uh, second color on the second row again, and somewhere here we'll just, I'll also use the monoline brush, uh, we will just create a line coming from the, uh, coming from the flower, something like this. Now we'll create this little cup shape for our flower, for the petals. And we will color it. And we also create cute little leaves. I'll just make them, don't make them too big. Just cute, very little leaves. We'll also color them. 
like that. And now we will go and create a new layer underneath the pink flower stem and we'll call it pink flower. We'll go to the colors and we'll grab this uh, second color on the third row. Now let's go back uh, to our cup shape and create this, oops, create this little petal something. Something like this. So we'll turn this off for one second, make sure it's connected and we will color fill it. Turn this back on. And um, I think my cup looks a little too big, so I'll go back to the uh, pink flower stem and I will erase a little bit. Um, I'll grab this color, make sure I'm on the right level, the layer. I think that looks a little, a little better. Good. Okay. Now. Um, that's uh, the pink uh, flower. We'll just add some details to the flower. So we'll create a new layer and we'll stay on top and we will call it pink flower details. So we'll go ahead and grab this third color in the third row. I will also probably go to the artist script brush and mm, I will move it uh, and then I will move it underneath the pink flower stem. So we'll just create this little um, lines and add some little uh, circles on top. Just to, you know, just to add some details to the flower, which I think looks a little more fun, a little nicer. So now we're done with the pink flower. Now we will go ahead and create a little branch right here. So we'll go and create a new layer and we'll move it underneath the big flower with petals and we'll call it, uh, we'll call it blue brunch. We'll go ahead and grab the third color on the second row. I will also go and create, take a monoline brush and we will create, the branch will go from uh, this center of the flower somewhere here. So, something like this. Now we'll create the leaves. We'll also color them. Something like this. A little bigger than the uh, leaves right here. Because it's, you know, it's a whole brunch. We'll go underneath and create one more. We'll also create one more here. We can't really see it because of the big flower, but we know it's there. I'll probably make it, I'll probably just turn it a bit like this. But now that's all. Okay, perfect. We created the um, blue branch and now we'll go ahead and create the beautiful leaves right here. Create a new layer and we'll call it big branch. We'll go ahead and grab the um, artist script. You don't have to do that. I just like this brush. I think it works a little better for the um, branch. We will also go and take this um, second color on this on the second row. And we'll create a big branch coming from here and it will go and it will go somewhere. It will go, it will go this way. Something like this. Okay, beautiful. Now we'll go ahead and create big leaves. Remember, it's a big branch, so we'll create little stem and big leaf. Like that. We'll create one more right here. And one more right here. Beautiful. Now I think I'll make it a little smaller. Now I'll also move it a little up. Okay, good. Now we have to color this. 
so we will color fill this branches the sleeves i'm sorry and now we'll create some details to this branch so we'll go and create a new layer on top of the big branch and we'll call it big branch details and we'll grab this first color in the second row and we'll just create some uh middles oops that's not that's that's better you know very easy strokes nothing too hard and we will do it for every leaf in this branch so it looks pretty also add some details so the uh, branch doesn't look as plain plain and simple so that's all for this, for this branch um i might make this leaf a little bigger so oops i have to go back to the big branch layer just make it a little a little more fat with this little fat like this that's all maybe make this one also a little bigger I think that's yeah that's enough so now um we created i think half of the illustration already so now we'll go ahead and create a little tulip right here so we'll go to the um layers we'll create a new layer and drag it underneath the big flower and call it tulip stem cool now we'll grab this uh, third no We'll grab, yeah, let's grab the fourth color on the second row. And we will create a tulip that comes from here going this way. Something like this. Now we will uh, create a new layer and we will call it tulip. Grab the uh, fourth color on the third row. I'll probably grab the monoline because I think that will work a little better for the shape of the tulip. So we'll create this half, we'll create this arch, and some, oops, some petals for the. Ew. For the, for the tulip. Okay, and yeah, I think this one is too little, a little too big. I'm a little, I like tulips so. <laughs> If you saw my Instagram, it's all about tulips. Um, I think I'll just move a little bit like this. Cool. Now we'll go back to the um, tulip stem. We'll grab the color we used before and we'll create some leaves. Very simple. Nothing too hard. Now we will color them like this. Perfect little tulip. We might, we might want. To, I might want to move it a little bit, a little bit to the um, inside the flower, so it doesn't stick out that much. But that's good. Okay, now we'll create. Um, we're done with the tulip for now. Now we'll create a little pink branch coming from here this way. So we will uh, create a new layer. We'll call it pink branch. And we will take this um, pink that we used before for the pink flower. Oops. I'll take the script, artist script brush and the, this br branch will go from here to this way. Something like this. Oh, let's try. Something like this. 
okay now we'll just create leaves not too big but also not too small something there there should be kind of similar to the tulip leaves leaves and just color them maybe create one more here Actually, I think I don't like this uh, leaf on the tulip, so I'll go back to the tulip stem and I'll erase this leaf. Just, um, turn this off. So now, now I'll turn it back on. Now we'll go back to the branch, uh, pink branch, and we will. Ma oops, we'll make this leaf a little bigger. That's all. I think that looks a little better. I think too many leaves there were a little too heavy for this illustration. Okay, cool. Now we created all the main branches. We'll just have to create a few yellow branches here and there. So we will uh, go and create a new layer. We will call it yellow branches. Actually, yellow branch will be only one. Now we'll go and take this first yellow on this on the third row, and the yellow branch will go from, oops, <laughs> sorry, it will go from here to here. So we'll take the, uh, make sure I'm the right layer. I'm always afraid of it. Um, and then we'll create this little branch coming this way. We'll create small leaves. This branch will just add some color to the illustration. Looks nice. Um, you know, sometimes when you have too many blues, you just need something else for the um, accent. And this uh, illustration is mainly blue. The blue color is the main color, so I decided to add a little bit of yellow just to make it a little more fun. That's the um, yellow branch. Now we'll create another layer and we'll call it extra yellow branches <laughs> yellow um, branches and we will add this little branches here and there just to um, add some more fun so we will go here and create oops, and create this little branch uh, this little We'll just add them here and there. So we'll go here and we'll create this little stem with a little something uh, round, something round on top of it. And now it's just to add some details to the illustration. We'll add it here and there. Just to add some more fun, maybe one right here as well now I'll just add some something something fun maybe we'll add even one here that's all uh, now the main illustration is almost done we'll just have to add some um, cute details so we'll go and create a new layer we will call it extra details and first we'll um, add something to the tulip so we'll go ahead and create this uh, last color on the th uh, fourth, uh, third row I'm sorry make sure I'm using the artist script and we'll just add these little strokes to the side of the tulip just to add some details to the flower and make it a little more fun now we'll add some details to this little pink branch so we'll go and create uh, take the um, color we used for the tulip and I will add this little strokes to this branch make it a little more fun some details you know it's always interesting to make your illustration a little more fun so now we'll go back to the tulip I think we'll grab this uh, blue color and we'll just make the 
middles of the... I might not even do that, I'll just do something. Just very thin lines. Just to add some little details. I'll also go to this branch with the same color and add some more strokes. I like those little strokes, I think they make um, illustrations a little more fun and exciting. So, um, here, no, probably not. I think, I think that's fine, the illustration looks good as it is right now. So I think I'm done with this. This is how you create this beautiful um, illustrations. Illustration, you can use it, like I said before, you can use it for uh, postcard design, you can use it for um, Instagram post, which might also be fun. And if you do that, just uh, don't forget to mention me because um, I, I want to see whatever you will create. You can also use it for the uh, cute be phone background. So it's up to you. I hope you like this tutorial um, and um, I will see you in the next one.